Hey Capricorn, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of August 19th through the 25th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this week you are, I feel like you're trying to pinpoint some sort of doubt that you have about a situation kind of like you're trying to fill in the gaps or the holes in some sort of process i don't know i feel like you're strategizing this week about some sort of situation that right now you could be doubtful of suspicious of kind of like you're having a lot of questions about some sort of situation and i kind of feel like this week you are getting those answers um and i feel like that's going to make you feel a little bit more prepared and confident about something that you're about to do here right now we have the two of wands the sun which is leo the five of swords and the hanged man which is pisces so i kind of feel like this hanged man is your current energy you're saying i'm not really going to move forward with this until i have all of the facts all of the information i am more than willing and i'm excited and i'm ready for it i feel like the sun is that internal energy of you being very hopeful and optimistic about something you see the potential in it you have very good feelings overall about it but i feel like that hanged man is until you feel 100 percent ready you're not going to go ahead and take any action or move in any direction so to me the five of swords is you're steering clear before you make some sort of commitment i feel like this is you just being very logical and trying to not put yourself in a situation that you may not be ready for or that you feel uncomfortable with. I feel like you're very good at making sure that the scene is safe before you walk into it. And this is a good example of that. Let's go ahead and clarify the two of wands. Six of Pentacles, yeah, you could be making sure right now if this is a situation where you're going to get the same back, the same in return, that reciprocation, that equal give and take. Maybe this is related to you and a person that you're connecting to. Maybe this is related to some sort of an investment, maybe your career. It's kind of like part of you is willing to give your part, but you're not going to do it until you can see that it is going to be returned back to you or that the same effort and consistency will be in place. I feel like right now you could also be trying to figure out if this is the right time to do something. Maybe you're starting to question, should I move this a little bit more back? Should I change the timeline? Am I Do I have too much on my plate right now? I feel like with that two of wands, you're looking at the situation and trying to see where it fits in your future because you don't want to do too much too soon or just have too much stress at this time. So again, very logical thinking. We have the Nine of Swords, Five of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. I feel like right now, Capricorn, your priority is to be okay, to feel good, to feel confident, to feel secure. Um, and I kind of feel like stability, both emotionally, physically, mentally, I feel like all of that is going to be very important right now for you because you don't want to feel dis, um, un unbalanced or imbalanced. I don't know how to speak anymore, but I feel like you're really not trying to go there again because I feel like in the past, maybe you had a situation that made you feel that way. So to me, that five of wands and the nine of swords is you saying, I'm not going to go back to that. I'm not going to let stress consume me. I'm not going to let this situation do what it did to me in the past. I want to be on a different level right now. So I feel like this five of wands is your you're beating it before it beats you. So I feel like you really are looking at the situation objectively, but using your past to kind of guide you so that you don't go through the same thing twice. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and clarify the sun. Ten of wands. Yeah, you're not interested in having more than what you can handle. And I love that because I feel like sometimes we don't think that way. We just put everything on our plate and then we just assume we're going to be able to carry it for a very long time. I feel like you've been through enough situations where you know how much you can carry on your plate at any given time. So this is your self-awareness kind of coming through. And this is you saying, I want to be good. I want to be healthy. I want to be happy. So I'm not going to take more than what I can handle right now. So maybe you are trying to make the best decision decision and determination based off of what you currently have going on, especially if this is related to some sort of commitment or some sort of offer or someone wanting to kind of include you into something. 
we have the two of cups judgment and the queen of wands i feel like this judgment is you right now making the right judgment call based off of what you are capable of handling i also feel like the two of cups is about the fact that you have support you have someone who is trying to help you navigate this i feel like there's also a little bit of understanding here like somebody is truly trying to understand where you're at in this process and i feel like you're gonna see that this week i feel like you're gonna see this person's understanding their empathy i feel like you're gonna feel supported in this decision to not take more than what you can handle because maybe subconsciously that's a concern maybe you fear that you know someone will judge you or see you some type of way if you say that you can't do everything all at once but I feel like this is you maybe even learning this about this person that you're connecting to is that they're actually really good at giving you that reassurance that it is okay to feel what you feel because at the end of the day Capricorn they want you to be happy too so right behind the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck is the three of swords and the two of swords and I feel like this confirms that this was something in the past that you struggled with was being completely honest about how you felt because you were fearful that it would be misunderstood so to me this two of swords behind that three of swords behind the ten of wands is saying that maybe you held back in showing your true emotions and you were a little bit hesitant because you didn't know how it was going to be received and i think that this ten of wands kind of confirms also that you have to give yourself a little bit more grace and honestly i feel like this whole week you're just going to be seeing a, a lot of really um positive shifts within yourself and those around you that make you feel a little bit more light right like it's gonna you're gonna feel lighter on your feet and everything's not gonna feel as heavy and i think that that's gonna help you feel more com comfortable and confident about your future as a whole so really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one